Before the unboxing itself, I'm here to let you know that I'm partnering with Toku Electables to do a giveaway of a brand new Desire Driver from Kamen Rider Geats as featured in this video. If you want to enter and win one yourself, be sure to watch the entire video for more details. Hello everyone, it's Thomas GGB and welcome to another Kamen Rider Geats unboxing. I am very excited for this one. This actually might be the most excited I've ever been for a Geats unboxing. Actually, I was pretty excited for the belt itself. But anyways, I'm going to take a look at two packages, but only one thing is in this package. Uh, and it's all the same order, essentially. They just came in two boxes. As you can tell, this is... Oh, these are from Toku Lectables. Um, because these are the US releases of Geats merch. Let's open the small box. Thing, the first RCF figure. I have never, um, well, no, I, I have the R the L Level Up Rider Muteki, so I have purchased Rider main toy line figures before, but this is the first time I've actually bought them, like as the show was airing. The gun works like the toy, which I will be uh, looking at in a second, actually. Here's Geet's Magnum Boost with a head that's. I'm not gonna stay on, so I'm just gonna take that off. I really like this figure line. I think it's really, really unique idea. Part of why I love the Geats toys are that you can just mix and match whatever with whatever. It doesn't matter what goes with what. And I really like that we've got a toy line that completely replicates that. That you can have one boost, one magnum, and you can make it legs or chest. It is a bit wonky, like his legs are very roundish or something let's revolve on i want to revolve on let's see if the other head will actually work oh no i got it oh there's like a clip in the back okay okay cool we got the helmet on look look at it oh it's so cool i absolutely love this um so this is the only rcf figure i have as you can tell uh because i would have probably included the second ones in the other box i feel like these are kind of a bit expensive for what it is like it's a cool figure i'm having a lot of fun I'm tempted to go and buy the others right now. Unlike the roleplay toys where it's like, I, I really want them now. These kind of, I feel like will go cheaper like over time, especially too, because half the main cast is regulated or most half the main cast has been regulated to premium Bandai. And then, I mean, if you count Punk Jack as main cast, and if you don't, then like every other rider seems to be premium Bandai right now. So. Uh, and I definitely don't want the premium Bandai ones right now, because that's premium. It's gonna, it's so expensive, like, what they are. Like, there's just, like, a figure like this, and it's, like, $70 or something. It's like, no. Sorry, Toku Collectibles, I have to cut the nice tape, but I want to get my toy. Look at that stuff. It's stuff I want. And it's finally here. I guess while we were looking at the Magnum, let's look at the Magnum Shooter. Honestly, what I'm more excited for is the water raise buckle. Shooter, oh, it's another toy with the handle too small for me. Dang. How do I switch it? Do I just... Oh, there's this button. I like how even if you don't have the... If you don't push the button, it just... It's in rifle mode. Okay, now let's use it with a buckle. So I guess I can't spin this and then pull the trigger because it'll reset the sound. The sounds are kind of weird because you don't need to activate this to do anything. Oh. Wait. Oh. Okay. Okay, so see, I thought it was like nothing changed if you activate this but if you activate this it'll actually say the name of the 
the buckle and then tactical blast. So, okay, I guess my complaint is gone. There's like a little bit of differentiation if you use the different buckles. So, hey, that's pretty neat. For comparison, here is the Magnum Shooter 40X with the Gashicon Magnum. <laughs> Two, two magnums that can both become two sniper rifles that are also not very long. They're like about the same size, like in both modes. That's very funny. While we're playing with this arm buckle, let's move on to the next arm buckles. The next arm buckles for me, but these are the first ones that were ever released. And they continue the weird trend of putting Geats, or they started the weird trend of putting Geats and Tycoon in forms they never used in the show. But it's especially weird because Tycoon used Arrow. But then they made him use shield in the packaging and geats is using arrow even though Ty like arrow was tycoon's main buckle until he got ninja so i like shield is just a big button all the others have like a little gimmick is just push big button it's it's literally the legend buckles and then this has a little wee Is this a reference to um, the movie crossover? <laughs> oh, now it's uh, <laughs> is this still a reference? Now I have a big, big shield big. I like all the others are like weapons of some kind and this is like a protection item. Oh, it's very nice to have armed arrow and, and die. Now I'm gonna die because this is, everyone dies when they use this one or they get retired, same thing. Again, weird, he didn't, I mean, he didn't have to use this, but it would have been cool to see this because it's two green forms, two of his main buckles. I've partnered up with Toe Collectibles to create our own version of the Desire Grand Prix, one where you can win your own Desire Driver. Well, it's not as dangerous as an actual Desire Grand Prix, but we are giving away a brand new Desire Driver. How do you enter? It's very simple. First, make sure you're subscribed to this channel, and then take a screenshot showing that you've done so. Then use the link in the description to go to my Twitter.com account and reply to the pinned post with that image of you subscribed to my YouTube page. Then, as long as you're also following me and Toe Collectibles on Twitter, you're entered. Everyone gets one entry and the giveaway will last a month. So make sure you get your entries in by September 3rd and I will announce the winner in some other Kamen Rider Geats unboxing that month because I have a problem. Subscribe, reply, follow, follow, and you're all set. Thank you to Toe Collectibles for helping me out with this. The products in the video, as mentioned, are also from them, so I'll leave a couple links in the description if you want other Kamen Rider products. And now let's get back to the unboxing. Buff up. The zombie buffa core ID thing holder set. This orange paint is very nice. It's, I don't think anything on camera is ever like, it, it's like a beautiful metallic. Oh, it's, it's gonna be on the zombie hand. It's gonna look so good. Hitchin! Wow, so just as satisfying as I thought it would be to pull the, the key and the cage and the 
cool looking hand and so cool. It's also got one of the best like strike sounds because it incorporates the standby of the zombie breaker. So it's really cool how there's like this connection between the buckle and its attached weapon. Oh yeah, that's great. The, the and boost jingle is really funny for me, I think, with this one, because all the others, like, they have a different, like, kind of sound. But this one, like, the zombie goes all out, like, rawr, 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 zombie! And boost. Poison. Oh, I... Poison. I forgot... The zombie just randomly said poison in the this thing because I think the the zombie breaker says poison or like the attacks are poison based so they're like we're gonna make this weapon say poison. Now we've got Fever Zombie as Buffa's, Buffa's final form. <laughs> as of now, maybe he'll get another one. So that's been another Geats unboxing. I wanted to show that I have gotten Zombie Buckle. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see when I get the future Geats stuff. Also be sure to check out my Patreon because I'll definitely put the footage up there early as soon as I get it. And that's about it. <laughs>